Hey, welcome to today's episode of the Elohim Aimee podcast and read Bible with me YouTube channel. I am your host, Linda. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another podcast episode. If you want to receive daily morning devotional WhatsApp message, WhatsApp right now, Morning Mana, M O R N I N G M A N N A. Two zero zero two seven six eight one nine three nine one zero four. Once again, zero zero two seven six eight one nine three nine one zero four. And this is the podcast to show how God is with all of us all the time, and so making your homemaking life more closer with God. And to know more, visit itslinslife dot com after the episode. Today we are going to listen to developing daily prayer habits for homemakers part. Three, the five steps to develop the daily prayer habit. This is Elohim Aimi podcast. I am going to share the five steps I did myself to develop my daily prayer habit to pray for myself and also to pray for others, which is going to be so good. Uh, if I I was a person who was so lazy to doing daily prayer habits, become a person who do daily prayer now. If I can do it, then definitely you can also do it. So last two episodes we have discussed about what time you should pray and how you should pray. If you haven't listened, make sure to give a listen. So today we are going to actually going to see the five steps of how to develop a daily prayer habits, which is uh, seriously be more useful for the homemakers. So let's start with the steps. Okay, like I said, this is the five steps which I used for myself in developing this daily prayer habit, so I can dedicate more time to pray for others, um, and also for pray for myself and for my family. That's why I developed into I developed my daily prayer habits into a daily prayer habit. So I developed these five steps. I would say this was this work for me. So I. Uh, right now, I am sharing it with you in the way that it it can be useful for anyone, any homemakers out there. So I I developed it in such way. So first step is self assessment, which is definitely very important. Most of the time, the what mistake we do is without assessing our situation or what are we, what what kind of person are we. We directly try to um, develop a habit, which ends up in a terrible result. Of failure so I am going to tell you as a method to do self-assessment so here self-assessment we need to uh, work on two main steps one is prefixed mindset and another one is track book so prefixed mindset from the name itself from the word itself you can understand the meaning so usually the homemakers we all grew up in a with a social norm or uh, our parents or our family or our friends or so many people will tell us that learn the bible right now or as you are not going to have time to study the bible once you become a homemaker or once you become a wife, or once you become a mother, you know, stuff like I grew up by hearing a lot like this. So we are in a prefixed mindset of homemakers have no time, then homemakers cannot find time. And also, I am not praying, it's kind of self doubt, doubting ourselves that I am not praying at all, even though we pray at least. Uh, five times or, or or one week at least seven days in a month we still say i'm not praying because we are in a mindset uh, the our mindsets are prefix we are having a connected prefix at mindset one is homemakers have no time homemakers cannot find time and i'm not praying so first let's work on this three mindset how to change it's very simple instead of saying homemakers have no time say homemakers have time instead of saying homemakers cannot find time say homemakers can find time instead of saying i'm not praying say i am praying so if you have doubt, if you disagree with me, that's why self-assessment comes in place. That is why you also need a track book. Get a book which you can name as track book. 
and make a note of how many times first make a note of how many times how many times you are praying in a week whenever you pray in a day immediately mark i pray today and write the date and that way first you can work on the mindset prefix it mindset of i am not praying you can find yourself as you are actually praying not maybe not every day but at least some days in a in a month okay and also work on homemakers have no time to homemakers have time write down in the book track book i can have time to pray daily and also i can find time to pray daily so we are going to work on that by writing few steps few stuffs one is fixed chores with a fixed time fixed chores with indefinite time unfixed chores and unexpected chores so we are going to work on these four um, four categories so you have to self assess yourself on these four categories one is fixed chores with fixed time that is there are some fixed chores in our daily chores that has been fixed to some fixed time for example taking bath many of the homemakers do have a fixed time of taking bath maybe by evening 6 pm or maybe by morning 6 am many of the homemakers do have that fixed time or fixed chores with the fixed times likewise find out which all are the chores which you do for some fixed time and then fix a chores with indefinite time that is you you do have perform some chores every day but there is no particular time like some people cooking okay i will take cooking as example uh, some people do cook daily cooking at 12 pm i mean 12 pm at lunch or 5 am the morning breakfast but it's not fixed time sometimes you cook at 5 uh, 5:30 am sometimes you cook at 1 1 pm the time definitely change but you do cook every day so find such chores with indefinite time then next is unfixed chores unfixed chores means there is no guarantee that you are going to do it on every day basis daily basis um like what can i say um i don't know what to say but there are some chores in our life which you are not going to do on daily basis okay like uh, one example is cleaning you are not going to do deep clean of your house every day right you there is clean that is there is um getting it together or like tackling your space that that is happen that does happens every day but that not the deep cleaning yeah but the, so those are the chores you can be doing uh, but not on the daily basis so find such chores and also unexpected unexpected means of course you cannot know <laughs> which are the chores which can come up next the unexpected by mean is allow space in your brain to expect the unexpected always whenever whichever habit you want to make or whatever you are going to do always expect something unexpected can happen to us anytime so nothing is fixed uh, our life are not same every day so you knew, do need to find or you do need to develop that mindset so that whenever something unexpected habit you won't feel like uh, uh, something happened and all my work is misplaced all my habits are misplaced you never feel such way that's why you need to do that unexpected um, mindset you need to develop that unexpected mindset as well so that is the first step that is self assessment so i hope you understood and the next step is ideal time so in ideal time we are going to work on four categories you can make a note of that first one is what type of person are you second one is do you want to change third one is comparison and fourth one is find ideal time So first one what type of person are you that means morning are you a morning person or late morning person or let me say are you an early morning person or late morning person last episode also i mentioned about this the early morning person are most active during the early morning and late morning person are most active during late morning or maybe closer to the afternoon or even sometimes at night also they are very active so first you find out what type of person are you because we 
we can make use of that time in developing the daily prayer habit so if you are a morning person you can include the daily habit in the morning because you are very active in the early morning if you are a late morning person you can include the daily prayer habit during the late morning time or even at the night that's why you do need to find what type of person are you then second question which is very important question do you want to change do you want to change to a morning person to an early morning person or are you happy being the late morning person or and do you want to develop a daily prayer habit you need to ask these three questions to yourself and you need to find the answer only if you want to develop the daily morning habit then only this uh, daily prayer habit sorry daily prayer habit then only these steps are important them comes important for you right so find the answer actually do you want to change to a early morning person or do you, are you happy being a late morning person and you want to develop prayer habit to develop if you are if you are a late morning person and if you want to develop to a morning person i will share some tips later in some other episodes how i become a, an early morning person because i am a night owl so but i developed i become i developed a habit of becoming an early morning person and i do have a morning routine so i will share that some other time so find answers for these three questions and then compare it with self assessment so you are not going to compare it with anyone out there or anything out there you are going to compare it with your own uh, routines or chores and everything so in the self assessment we uh, saw about all the fixed chores and chores with fixed time and and fixed at everything so you need to compare your uh, your time with that self assessment your uh, what type of person are you and if you want to change then compare all those with the self assessment and then find the ideal time so when i looked into uh, my own um, chores and everything for me the ideal time was waking up half an hour or one hour earlier than everyone so these are the some hacks you can actually follow some hacks is reduce the screen time when you do self assessment you do have to assess on your screen time that is how much time you spend on social media as you your mobile how much time you spend with tv series serials movies and everything you do have to find record that as well because on uh, on assessment we can see that we can find out that the person who spend less time with the screen time do have more time to develop their habits so you do need to reduce your screen time then you do need to reduce your tv watch time it's reduce your series serial watching tv movies yes if you want to gain something you do, you do need to sacrifice something so yes reduce the if, because if you accept or not we do spend more of most of the time with screen that's why you need to reduce the time then another hack is early morning wake up or a waking up if you are a late morning person you can still wake up one hour before the usual waking up time that uh, that way you will get some uh, peaceful time for yourself to do some prayers then you can also other hack is including rest time with prayer so most of the time we do have a rest time like afternoon after lunch we do take some rest and that time you can do prayer so that's some hacks which i found myself um when i was developing my own daily habits so uh for me the best time is waking up one hour earlier than everyone so i get a uh, 30 minutes i can do a 30 minutes of prayer for myself and for others so that is the second step the third step is stacking let me ask you a question why do you stack one book uh, above other book the one reason is it gives more space it gives more space to add more books or add more stuff right the same principle apply here it gives more opportunity to follow your habit that is stack your new habit with the present habit for example after brushing my teeth i will pray then only i will make the breakfast or then only i will eat the breakfast you can and do stacking like that you write it in your track book which when when once you find that ideal time next is you write it down the stacking that is 
after brushing that's what i do after i what i do is after brushing my teeth and after making the coffee i will pray then only i will make the breakfast that's how i start my prayer habit and then you can drink coffee while drinking coffee i will pray that's another stacking so you need to stack your daily prayer habit with with the one which you already have which we are with the old habit that way whenever you do whenever you make a coffee you'll remember okay i do need to pray or whenever you after whenever you brush you will remember okay i need to pray then only i can make breakfast so that way you need to stack and the fourth step is trial period okay this is very important because if you think or if you look out into the out world you can say before publishing any medicines or any books or anything okay there is always a trial period the person or the inventor they give a trial period to test if it's going to work or not they take some uh, samples from the they, they will take some number of samples they will test and then only they will publish once uh, the, get the ideal result then only they will publish right so you do need to give a trial period for your uh, habit developing daily prayer habit so i'd like to divide this into 90 plus 90 day task so 90 that is first that is totally 180 day so first 90 you are going to subdivide into three 30 days sorry 30 days 30 days 30, days, 30 plus 30 plus 30 okay so uh, between first to 30 you can take a two days gap but between second and third 30 day you cannot take any gap so in the first 30 day i mean in the for the first 90 days in your track book make the columns of first column is pray then date date 1 2 3 till 30 okay do not write till 90 just write from 1 to 30 okay and then every day pray uh, you found the ideal time you do self-assessment you found your ideal time you found the hack uh, sort of stacking and then uh, once you write all of that next is this trial period where you are going to pray for the first 30 days without a miss if you do miss mark uh, that place as missed and keep ticking and after that first 30 days you are allowed to take a two days gap only two days okay and then next days next 30 plus 30 days you are not allowed to take any gap so in your track book mark 1 to 60 okay 1 to 60 and do pray so if you do did a 90 days a continuous a 90 days prayer then next follow the same principle but for next 90 days without any miss you are not supposed to miss and you are not supposed to take any gap and you have to continually pray and in your track book you need to write prayer from 1 to 90 days so in by the end of the 180th day 180 day if you do successfully follow the um uh, the daily prayer without any miss then please continue on if you do miss please continue with the 90 plus 90 day task until you become uh, you pray daily without any miss so once you reach that point then you please continue with the daily habit with the final step that is two day rule it's a very famous rule maybe you know so it is if i miss a daily habit i will do my best not to miss it two days in a row you cannot miss for two days in a row okay with that principle you do need to do your daily habit so remember so you do need to have a track book for daily for developing a daily prayer habits you do need to have a track book then you do need to have a prayer book prayer book means the prayer list book the all the list which you want to pray write it down have that prayer book and then with the five steps that self-assessment ideal time stacking trial period and two day rule and also this is a cycle once you find your ideal time it you may not be able to follow that you know maybe an year you find it very difficult that time uh, that time is difficult then again you need to find the new time so that's why it's a cycle it might keep change because nothing is fixed in our life our responsibility changes our our life changes our job changes there is 
changes in everything so it, it might or it can or it cannot maybe it uh, it will affect your life so that's why it's a cycle if it if you find the time you found is difficult you need to find another time that's all there's nothing um there's nothing else in there just you have to remember if you do have developed a daily prayer habit do not miss two days in a row so this is my five steps in developing daily prayer habits for homemakers this is mainly for homemakers because homemakers do have a lot of uh, works to do in their home so you do need to assess yourself how that time find that time and then you need to develop the uh, daily prayer habits uh, just give it's only a 180 day task or maybe just let's let's add us a 180 day plus a month for self-assessment and everything uh, so it's only um 210 day task okay just give a 210 day of you and give a good uh, dedication and there you will get a good daily prayer okay i hope this episode find helpful if you find it helpful make sure to share it with other other homemakers or uh, let me know if you do develop uh, your daily prayer habit at first let me know that okay please do not forget to let me know if you do develop your daily prayer habits by following these steps strictly without any mess strictly okay you do have to you may you may have to uh, sacrifice your screen time you may have to sacrifice your tv some series some serials some movies or anything something you do have to you will have to sacrifice you i do sacrifice I, right now i don't watch tv movies much i do watch movies but not in the way i used to watch it's not because i become a mom it's not because of that i sacrifice that to develop my daily habits prayer habits uh bible reading habits some uh work habits morning habits for some habits i do sacrifice many of my screen time and my tv time everything so yes you do have to because by assessing i found that the main thing i can sacrifice is screen so i sacrifice that so i do whenever i feel too much stress i do watch movie it's not that i not going to watch it no it's not like that whenever i feel stressed or overwhelmed with the amount of work i do one thing i do is watching tv it relaxes me as a lot i watch movies i watch uh, songs on the tv i do spend more time with the mobile whenever i feel stressed only whenever i feel stressed or overwhelmed otherwise i don't watch that so you do need to sacrifice something in your life to get develop a prayer habit and i hope this episode find helpful if you do make sure to share and let me know how it goes with you i would really 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 love to know if it works for you or not so remember god is with you and me all the time this is elohim i me podcast Joshua 1 9 Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You might have doubts, you might have troubles, but the woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. This is Elohim Aimi Podcast. Mm-hmm.